This is the nicest thing about fire. It just bubbles and boils away. It is my favorite broth of the Bone Broth Brigade. in your goddamn boat, get a paddle, we're fucking going to Vietnam! Master Rank continuously inspires me. And the first time that I ever had pho was me, a young cook, ah, malnourished on drugs, I don't know what's happening! Master Rank came and helped me, I was so hungover one day, and he was like, Fat boy, come here, have some juice. And I went to him and suckled his Vietnam tit. Brought back to life from his father. Look at me now. We all start somewhere. Today on Just a Dash, I'm doing a tribute. I am making the original oxtail pho. It is pho, not pho. Come with me on the voyage. Remember, always stay on the boat. Okay, let's go through it. Shall we go through how to make the pho? We're starting with an empty pot, bone marrow. You can find bone marrow at any butcher shop, hopefully. This is veal bones. This is like the shin of a veal. There's fatty little pieces of tendon attached to the bone, and that's really nice. Brisket. This is a giant brisket, and we are gonna use some of the fatty bits. So I'm literally just gonna cut off a big fatty piece like that. Look at all that connectiveness, all that fat, all that meat. That is gonna make for amazing pho. <sighs> Put that into the pot. I'm gonna save this for later, okay? Now, this is literally a tail of an ox. This is the tail, this goes on to the butt. This is super amazing. This has got like a little weird tendon holding onto it. You could, oh my God, that's so sketchy. That is nice. That means you got a really good oxtail right there if it comes with like little piece of sketchy tendon, looks like worms. So you can kind of cut in between the vertebrae and you just take the bone, put it in there, and you kind of try to find in between the vertebrae and you can cut little pieces of the tail. I'm just gonna use that much because once again, you don't need a lot to make a powerful pho. So we're gonna add cold water and we want just enough to cover the meat. So if you were to take a piece of meat and put it into boiling water, it seals everything in. So starting with cold water, as this warms up, it's gonna gently warm all the meat and it's gonna extrude all of the scum. And the reason I'm not putting the vegetables in right now is because the scum, when it comes up, it's gonna coat all the vegetables, all the seasoning, all, all that stuff. And we don't skim scum lightly here. I take it very serious. So you want to get all that debris. Looks like little clouds. You take all the clouds away, and then those clouds, the scum, reveal a beautiful broth. So you know in your life, you get kind of cloudy sometimes? You just got to skim your own scum. Then all of a sudden, what reveals itself is a beautiful you. Ripple love. And we are going to let this simmer as low as we can for 12 hours, okay? You sit there and stare into that fucking soup for 12 hours? Let me tell you something, you're gonna fucking know who you are. Who am I? Who am I? By the end of it, I still won't know. That's the saddest part. Still won't know. Still won't know until the reaper comes to take you away. Go to heaven with all the angels. Can't wait to go to heaven. Heaven's the best. Do you guys like heaven? <laughs> so we simmer for 12 hours. Then, the greatest moment of your life is now. <laughs> Vegetables. I'm gonna quarter the onion. Put it into the stock. Ah, yeah. We're gonna take some ginger. I'm not even gonna peel it. I'm gonna just cut it into three pieces. 
You just need about a good knob, good knob's worth. Put the ginger in. I'm gonna take one clove of garlic, just cut that in half, one cinnamon stick. And we just break it in half. We're gonna add some coriander seeds. But one tablespoon, star anise, a little pinch of cloves, one stalk of lemongrass. That is it. And now, once again, 12 hours. 12 hours is a long fucking time. It is a time for me to contemplate life. I think about the clouds of scum. I think about the bean sprouts I hate so much. I really don't like the bean sprouts. I don't get it. That's just me. <sighs> There's something I could do. We're gonna make something right now. Whenever you get fall, you get a little plate of all your garnishes. But a lot of places in Vietnam literally just have this container of like sliced garlic and sliced chili peppers and just vinegar. And you add that vinegar and, to your pho and it just gives it a little acidicness. It's gonna get spicy, it's gonna get garlicky. And just take a little tablespoon of this, throw this in your little pho. Even just like right away, taste this. Yeah! <laughs> Instant. It's fucking spicy. Instantly, that's fucking spicy. It's been 12 fucking hours, Ben. Ben said, Camera B says it's fucking been 12 hours. <laughs>so spicy that is still just fucking me up look at that brisket ooh fatty it's beautiful brisket look at this bone marrow all this tendon so beautiful we're going to use all of this tendon oh look at the ah look at that oxtail that is beautiful right there there's nothing more beautiful than an oxtail coming out of a fucking boil. Look at this one. Ooh, that one's even better. The bone is just, it's holding on. The meat is so tender and beautiful. Look at that little tendon. Ooh, ooh. Mm. There's nothing better than pieces of tendon. Any shape, any size. I'm a tendon, you know, I'm a tendon guy. Ooh, oh, here's the big, a lot of tail in here. Kind of more tail than we started with. <laughs> this broth, 24 hour bone broth is fucking heaven on earth. The smell, the cinnamon, the star anise, the clove. Pho is literally, it's a beautiful, beautiful fucking thing, man. So this broth is almost there. What have we not done? seasoned it at all. So now, two dashes of salt in my pho. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna fucking slice up some onion. That's just for the crunch. You want that crunch. We're gonna take our green onions. We're gonna slice our green onions up. Yeah, take some cilantro, stems and all. I love the stems. So we're almost making like a dry onion herb salad. So we got that. That's done, that's a wrap. Yeah! Now, let's get our meats ready. Peel off any of the tendon with your spoon. The tendon's my favorite. Grab any bone marrow out of there. Little ovules, jobules, little morsels. Ooh, this is a big piece. This is the good stuff right here. See, look at that. I'm gonna slice up some of this fatty brisket. Look at that. And that was cooked for 24 hours. Still moist, still beautiful. It's that low simmer. And now we're just gonna rip all this oxtail meat off. And you can kind of just pull the bones away and you're kind of left with these shreds of oxtail. And this is what's gonna make the fucking really nice. I'm just gonna throw the noodles into boiling water. Just throw them all in there, fuck it. I want crispy oxtail. This is a dry pan. 
And we're just going to leave this oxtail. We're going to let it get nice and crispy. Ooh. I'm just going to fill my bowl full of the noodles. And now I'm going to build this up. I'm going to put in my brisket. Beautiful brisket. A little pile of tendon. Ooh. Look at that piece of crispy, crispy, beautiful ox tail. Oh! A little pile of the onion, the green onions. And from there, now we're gonna ladle some broth. That's stupid. What am I doing? We're gonna pour our broth. The ripple is coming together. And finally, just a little spice up your life, a little bit of the garlic and the chili. A little squeezes some lime. Lots of seeds. Make sure you get lots of seeds in there. We made oxtail pho. It is pho, not pho, okay? Bone broth. It's so, it's white hot right now. Yoga pants around the world are screaming for bone broth. Oh, the tendon. That is incredible. This piece of, oh, this is amazing. I love tendon. Oh my. Look at this. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going in, boys. I'm going in! Oh. This broth is fucking epic. You motherfuckers out there always putting sriracha, fucking hoisin in the broth, fucking grow up. You eat your pho the way it is. If you want fucking sriracha, you dip. It's insane. Mmm. These noodles maybe could have been cooked a little more. Not gonna lie. But the ripple of love, the ocean that I'm giving, the pot of broth, you guys can make this at home. And that's the biggest thing for me. I wanna ripple my pho broth across the world. Grab a boat, grab a paddle, fucking go. Just a dash. Number one. Today, today's the first time we've done this. Hey, is that a wrap on pho? Pho? <sighs> fucking Michelle walks in the room. Is that a wrap on pho? Like a fucking Canadian, eh? It's pho. See, this is the problem we have. You're the problem. Ring the bell, share, you comment, you delete it. Maybe just set your computer on fire. It's really up to you, but make sure before you set that computer on fire, you subscribe, okay? Okay. Because that's just a hard drive. Like, that's hardware and software you can't erase because you can't erase anything from the internet. So even if you set your computer on fire, your, your subscription would still matter to me. It's true.